Hi guys, how are you doing today? Today, um, I wanted to touch on something that I talked a little bit about on my Instagram the other day in a post, but wanted to elaborate a little bit more on it because I think it's such an important topic and I think it's so deeply connected to anxiety um, and fear and, and things that hold us back. And so I thought it would be something uh, important to touch on and something that's come up quite a bit in session. I get a lot of um, clients who are who are wanting to do things, who who are ready to strive for for their goals and are and are getting to the point, um, part of the reason why they're in therapy is because they're getting to the point of being motivated to do the things that they want to do, but they often find themselves just scared, scared to take the next step, scared to try something new, scared to put themselves in a position they're not used to, and um, and it's just scary. And so um, as we know, uh, fear and um, scariness is very connected with anxiety. It's a lot of the time, sometimes it's, we're just fearful, but sometimes it's anxiety that's holding us back um, from the thing we want to do or that's making us fearful. And so um, in my Instagram post, I talked a little bit about how last weekend I went to a spa with my girlfriends and it was very much out of my comfort zone. And I knew that going in um, and my friends kept checking in, are you doing okay at the beginning? And, you know, I said, if we're not um, pushing ourselves, if we're not outside of our comfort zone, then we're not growing. And so, yeah, I'm doing great. This is awesome. I knew I was going to survive it. I knew I was going to be fine. Um, but sometimes it feels like we aren't going to survive it and that the thing that we're so scared to do could literally kill us is that at least that's what our brain is telling us. Um, as I think I've talked about, um, that middle part of our brain where we experience anxiety in our amygdala, it doesn't speak language. It can't differentiate between perceived threat and real threat. Um, and so it can't tell the difference between a bear actually running at me and I'm in harm or doing something that scares me that I'm worried about that isn't actually harmful, but that I'm perceiving as harm. My brain cannot differentiate the two. And so um, it takes a lot of practice to to retrain that part of the brain. And the way we do that is by stepping out of our comfort zone. Um, and then in addition to treating the anxiety when we step out of our comfort zone, we also just grow as humans. We grow as people. Um, we aren't afraid of things. We, we can try new things. And when we try new things, we're growing even more. We're learning new skills. We're becoming better people. And so I think it's really important to focus on um, what we can do to step out of our comfort zone. Um, so when I use the example of what I did, uh, I think the first step is saying yes. When I got asked to do something that I knew would make me, make me uncomfortable, but I knew I would love, um, I had to say yes. I had to commit. I had to be held accountable. Um, it's so easy to say, oh, I'll do that later. Or, yeah, I'll try it. And then deflect or ignore or, um, so, uh, or avoid and so then we are never held accountable and then we don't actually have to do it so the first thing was accountability i had three friends that were waiting for me i drove to a different city to do it um i had to pay for it that's another one and so all of those sort of things really help me be accountable they help me do things that make me feel uncomfortable um be a yes man you know say things or do things that you wouldn't normally do um, a great book actually is shonda rhymes's book um a year of yes it really touches on um, doing things and saying yes to things that you wouldn't normally do because they make you uncomfortable. So if you want a good resource for that, the Shonda, Shonda Rhimes book, um, The Year of Yes is phenomenal. Um, it really highlights, uh, she took a year and, and um, said yes to every opportunity that came at her and the things you can do and learn and, and experience when you don't shut down and, and, and say no to everything. Um, was is incredible it sounds like so so saying yes um showing up and saying yes is one of them um in those moments i think knowing how to have proper coping skills or things that can relax me if i'm escalated um i was of course feeling fine it was a spa so i was incredibly relaxed but um but making sure that when you step into that space um, if you if you get asked to go do something if you get asked to do a speech if you get asked to go um, a volunteer at a school, if you get asked to um, spend time with someone that makes you um, or that you're nervous around or you don't know if you're going to have a good conversation or if you're going to say something silly, if you set yourself up knowing that um, you have skills and tools that can calm you down when you're there, that can help as well. So making sure you know how to square breathe, making sure that you've gotten enough sleep the night before, 
making sure that you um, have eaten, you know, things that aren't going to make the anxiety even worse uh, or, or keep you from having a panic attack if, if you're prone to having panic attacks. Um, making sure that you can step away if you need to take a breather. Do you have water? I mean, all of these things to make sure that you can keep yourself as regulated and calm as possible. Um, and then I think another thing is picking things that are passionate to you. You know, things, um, I don't mean step out of your comfort zone to do everything just for the sake of stepping out of your comfort zone. It, you want it to be beneficial. You want it to be powerful and meaningful. So I think stepping into a space that you want to do, that it's a goal of yours, that you know will help propel you to something more, um, is a good place to start as well. And then talking to people about it. I mean, that's another level of accountability, but telling people you're going to do it, telling people it's going to happen, telling them your fears around it and why you're worried about it. Um, they might try and rationalize and tell you that everything's going to be okay, and it, it probably will, but your brain is telling you otherwise. So um, talking about it can help, um, but just know that you have to experience it. And then understand, you know, what, what your brain is going to be experiencing. You know, we, if we use the bear analogy, the bear, your brain is going to be perceiving it as if a bear is running at it or at you. And so remembering that you can, you can work with it and, and know that that's not a bear and that it's scary, but we're safe and we're going to be okay. Um, and then we're going to grow from it and just kind of talk yourself through it, I think is another big component of it. Um, and so I'm just curious what you guys um, do. What what are the types of things you do when, when you're faced with having to step out of your comfort zone? We all have to do it all the time. Sometimes we choose to do it more often than others, but I'm curious what you guys um, often do when you uh, are faced with something that makes you uncomfortable. Um, do you face it head on? Do you... Um, do you coil back and, and avoid it or, or ignore it? Um, do you have to process through it, but then do it anyway? Uh, do, you, do you introduce to your kids that this is something they should be scared of? Or do you tell them the same thing that although we're scared, let's put on our, our um, you know, capes and let's face this thing because we need to, because that's what's going to make us stronger and grow. Um, so I, I encourage you to take a look inside and, and see how often you are facing um, fears and, and conquering them or how often are you letting them take over and this is this can happen if you have anxiety or not have anxiety I mean I think when we have anxiety we're more prone to to avoid or escape things that make us uncomfortable but sometimes if we don't have anxiety we might just not be one to say yes to things anyway um, and that's and that's okay but I encourage you to look inside and just kind of think am I doing this am I holding myself back from things and if I am what's holding me back is it because I'm anxious is it because I'm worried um, or is it because I don't have time is it because I'm tired because those are all just excuses um, if we don't, there is there is always a solution. And when we don't think there's a solution, it's because we're finding excuses. And so I encourage you to really dig deep and figure out, um, are there things that you want to do? Are there goals you want to reach? And how can we get there? And please do not hesitate to message me or reach out. I would love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to have an open dialogue and kind of communicate about what's coming up and what you guys are feeling. And um, yeah, that was kind of my topic today. Just wanted to talk a little bit about... Um, uh, reaching our goals and, and not letting fear get in the way of the things we want to do and stepping outside of our comfort zone because zero growth is going to happen inside a comfort zone. So if you are wanting to grow, then take a step outside of that zone with me and uh, let's conquer the world. Have a good day.